you can never have too many guns. It seems this was the guiding principle for the designers of this ship. When they removed almost all of her superstructures and packed any vacant spaces on the deck with guns and torpedo tubes. Then they reconsidered and made the hull a bit longer to squeeze in even more cannons. As a result, the ship received a beautiful silhouette, low profile, graceful exterior, and a bunch of guns. Meet destroyer Ohotnik. A micro cruiser and a macro destroyer, a long thin hull. She's a true hunter, armed to the teeth. The first thing you spot is a group of seven top notch 130 mm guns, five of which occupy a third of the aft deck. This gun arrangement clearly indicates that you wouldn't want to chase Ohotnik. Consequently, you can be very effective when retreating with this ship. In addition, her guns can rotate 360 degrees which makes artillery fire even more efficient. Yes, indeed. You don't have to wait too long for your turrets to turn from one side to the other. Ohotnik's guns have only two drawbacks. A pretty long reload time for a Russian artillery destroyer and a short range of fire. Therefore, basic and advanced firing training will greatly enhance both your primary armament and the way you approach the battlefield. Let's proceed to the torpedoes, which occupy the ship's midsection. They feature great speed and poor range, only 4.5 kilometers, typical Russian torpedoes. It's impossible to launch them effectively and remain undetected, even if you upgrade the destroyer's concealment to its maximum. On the other hand, Ohotnik boasts as many as four triple torpedo launchers, and since they are mounted on the hull's longitudinal axis, she can fire 12 torpedoes from any side. In addition, the reload time is less than a minute, which will delight any player. So you can make a launch every 10 to 15 seconds, an unpleasant surprise for enemy battleships. Or you can fire from three torpedo launchers and leave one in reserve just in case. And if you make an accurate full salvo, even the most maneuverable ship won't have a chance to escape. To sum up, Ohotnik isn't lacking in armaments. Of course, this comes at a price. The extensive hull increases the ship's turning circle radius, and her cruising speed isn't that great either. Dodging enemy torpedoes is no easy task. The destroyer does have some anti-aircraft guns, but they aren't very effective. A natural question arises. How can I use all this power so that it's not me but the enemies who suffer all this pain? Of course, all hunters, including this one, should first choose appropriate prey. And if they're a bit too strong, you should look for a better opportunity. Your primary targets are enemy destroyers, of course. When facing them, make the most of your numerous guns. But don't approach destroyers unless it's absolutely necessary. It will be pretty difficult to dodge their torpedoes. As for cruisers, the safest thing is to rain shells upon them from within smoke and try to sneak up on battleships hiding behind natural obstacles. Additionally, it's always good to think about your escape routes in advance, otherwise your first attack can become your last. You can rush toward a single battleship, close the distance, get them in torpedo range, but only if she's really alone. And remember, the best defense against enemy aviation is to keep battle formation. This is what this peculiar new warship is all about, the former torpedo cruiser of the Russian Navy, Tier 5 destroyer Ohotnik. A hunting we will go, captains.